Hello everyone and welcome to the wide wide world of education. <laughs> uh, something that really surprises me is that a lot of people don't seem to know just how difficult it is to capture video or you know gameplay in general off of a 2DS, 3DS, 3DS XL, or even the uh, DS uh, Fat, DS Lite, DSi, DSi XL, you know, all, all the DS systems, basically. And why it surprises me is because it feels like common sense that people should be able to recognize why it's such a difficult thing to do. And I'm gonna do it just by showing you a little tour of a system here. Like you see, you got the headphone jack here, you got the sleep slider off on this corner, uh, we've got shoulder buttons, SD card slot, stylus, uh, flip it over, charger, we got the game card slot, another L button, volume control, but no video out. I guess you kind of have an audio out through the uh, headphones here, but no video out. So how exactly do you manage to capture it? Well, you can't capture a 2DS or a regular DS or a 3DS or whatever just by the system alone. You have to do some rather extensive modifications to it. And I'll give you a little tour of what kind of modifications they are, but I gotta switch over to uh, the online websites that do such modifications. And here we are at 3dscapture.com. This is one of the places that will modify your 3DS to capture video off of it. Um, obviously this is not Nintendo authorized or anything like that, so doing it will invalidate your warranty. But, uh, assuming that you don't really care about that, let's just move on here. Another thing that is a big monkey wrench in people's plans is that it's for the original 3DS only. Uh, 3DS XL or LL not supported yet but it hasn't been supported since this has been in existence and i'm not sure if it will be supported anytime soon so you're better off getting an original 3ds if you want to get the modification for it uh the next thing that's a big monkey wrench in people's plans is the actual price of this because it uses very specialized custom stuff uh you have to send your 3ds to them and they will do it for 245 dollars so it's not the cheapest thing to get into, which is one of the reasons why I have done uh, emulate, emulated DS games only, um, because they also have a DS capture board here, uh, which is a very, very similar uh, thingajigger going on here. And you can actually see this stuff. Yeah, you can actually get the uh, board pre-installed, but it's still 135. Um, but Another thing that's really holding me back from doing it is I don't like the idea of gutting a 3DS, I guess you could say, you know, butchering it. And because, you know, I, I would send in my own or something, and yeah, I would not want to mess with my babies. <laughs> uh, but let's see if I can find, uh, here we go, install guide. This is what would happen, or what you'd have to do if you wanted to install this sort of thing yourself. And you actually have to cut a hole into the case like so to uh fit the the connector into it so yeah um here's a better view this is where the wrist strap would go into except that it's cut a hole into there next to the stylus uh so if you are going to get a modification for 3ds or get a modified 3ds it's not going to be the prettiest looking thing out there <laughs> and as i said i wouldn't want to send in my baby to have it butchered uh, even if it would capture video because I like my DS's just as they are right now um, another place that does this sort of thing uh, is I think this is a more recent place is this place here uh, 3dsvideocapture.com uh, I don't I don't know their reputation or anything like that since they're fairly new I think so I can't really say if they're legit or not, but anyway, I think the one you would be looking for is uh, uh, this one for US people, this one for Japan, this one for Europe. Uh, I don't know why they're, they're different, but <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here for the 3DS capture, it's two forty seven fifty, so that's about uh, $2.50 more uh, than the 3DS capture board here. See so that $2.45, yep, yep, $2.47.50. 
So yeah, no matter what you do, it's not a very cheap and easy thing to do. Uh, and I, I definitely couldn't install it on my own because there's one thing that I'm not really good at of all the things that I am good at, and that's like hardware modifications or building or something like that. It's just not my sort of thing. So chances are, if I did it on my own, I would brick my DS. <laughs> and the same with a lot of people who don't know how to do such modifications because it's just not an easy thing to do, as I said. So yeah, um, it really makes you appreciate just how much more effort people do to do such, I mean, when they do such modifications, um, to capture their 3DS directly like that, or, uh, whenever they, uh, work hard on getting an emulator accurate for whatever game they're playing. So, yeah, this, it's quite a dicey predicament if you want to capture your DS or 3DS. I would even say it's one of the most difficult things to capture on, in the, uh, uh, video game world right now because it doesn't have any, uh, uh, video out in comparison to other things. So, mmm. <laughs> and there is your educational tidbit for the day. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Oh, wait, 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 actually, one more thing. Hold on. Um, people have suggested that you could point a camera at the 2D, or t uh, a, a regular DS, 2DS, 3DS, whatever, and then capture it from there. But what that does is the camera gets in the way of the stylus, and it doesn't make it really practical to play. Not to mention gets in the way of your vision. And you can't exactly, like, look at the screen of the camera while you're playing as well, because the the camera screen always has display lag. <laughs> That's terrible for gaming. So, yeah, it pretty much direct capture or emulation is the only way to go when it comes to 3 uh well DS or 3DS 2DS capture in general. All right, now I'm going to end off the video here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later.